Man, I wish you were more famous, you deserve it, but then again, you wouldn't be as close to the community. Um, well, I, I mean, I'd attempt to be. It, it depends how much more famous you get, I guess, if you have so many people um, contacting you, you can't talk to them all. So that is true, in a sense. Are you going to do an XP spending this pretty soon? Uh, it's unlikely. Uh, the reason for that is that I am only really spending my XP on upgrading things that need upgrading and so that includes only really things that need to get higher level because I can't beat a level. So as it stands I am basically just not going to really be up upgrading anything. So my XP will just sort of stand at this this huge figure that it's uh, that it's currently at. What's your favourite horror movie? That's actually quite a simple one to answer. Where is your favourite film? I sort of can't really answer that question. I can definitely answer favourite horror movie. This one people might not have necessarily heard of, but uh, it's called Oculus and I love it very much. Uh, it's also the film I've watched the largest number of times. I think it's very rewatchable. I like it. I don't suppose it's an innately brilliant film, but it, it ties together a lot of elements that I like. So it's fun to watch. That's got the bird from Doctor Who in it. Yes. Very diplomatically phrased, Jace. Karen Gillan, indeed, doing an American accent, which is part of the fun, because she slips back into Scottish occasionally, and you you can tell. Uh, so that that's quite enjoyable, you know. <laughs> I won't try and do an American impression that slips into Scottish because I'm not really sure I can adequately do either. But it's um, I love it very much because it ties together a real sort of sense of darkness, listing terrible spooky events, which I'm a sucker for, and there's a whole sequence that does that. I really like the atmospheric spooky music as well. You can find the uh, soundtrack for it on uh, music streaming services. And um, it's a very interesting subject matter. The villain is a mirror. I mean, isn't that great? I think that's great. Great film. Love it. I no, honestly like. I love it. To be fair, it's 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 a great fun film. I mean, it's a horror film, so you could not necessarily say great fun film, but I like it. I like it very much. Every now and then, every few months, perhaps I I go back and schedule an evening to watch it again. It's uh, it's great fun. Have you seen Full Metal Alchemist? Well, uh, just like a clickbait article, the answer may surprise you. Yes, a little bit of it. Um, not actually through my own choice, but uh, I didn't find it massively enjoyable. Just two miserable and sort of slightly sneery blokes walking around the desert telling people that they're wrong. And the whole family are dead, or they're dead, or someone else is dead. I wasn't that impressed. Um, there are other things that I'd watch. I apologise if I've I've just sort of <laughs> blasphemed all over Full Metal Alchemist there, but um, that was that was my impression. Watching ads is a pain. Oh right, Battle Cats. Oh good. I, I thought this was a, a revolt against the Twitch stuff, which I actually can't do anything about um the the ad that you get when you first come on twitch it actually has nothing to do with me at all um but yeah no i i have got quite quite uh c quite fatigued watching ads for cat food over and over again though today i got a better series of ads uh they were a whole load of them which uh, over and over again a, a single one which was a pizza oven. I didn't care much for the product, though if it was actually truthful, it does look interesting. It was just so many different shots rapidly edited, to get, edited together of pizzas. And oh, 
I love pizza, and I mean, I just love looking at the pizza. I watched that same ad, like, actually physically watched it several times. I mean, pizza, love it, love the stuff. I mean, I combine favorite horror film and some good food. Pizza and Oculus, maybe I should do that. Maybe. I, d I, d I don't think it's time to watch it again. I don't know when I last watched it, but the time will come round. I shall schedule an evening, and who knows what food I shall schedule with it. As it stands at the moment, I am uh, desperately trying to, as you know, because I mention it every stream, uh, trying to get through content on Now TV before my trial runs out. Uh, at the moment, got a few things left to watch. Don't know if I'm going to be able to sneak one more series in or not. Uh, we'll have to see what comes of that. Do you agree with pineapple on pizza? What do you think of pineapple on pizza? Two separate people, the same question. Loving the hive mind. Um, i got to be honest. I hate the idea of it. But for people who like it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them liking it. And, you know, at least they're doing us the service of eating the pineapple pizzas. You could say they create the demand for it, but at least they're, as Reese's would say, eating them up, eating them up, eating them up, eating them up. Because, I mean, I wouldn't. I, I hate the idea of that. What about egg on pizza? I don't like egg, to be fair. I just do not like egg. Like, my entire time at university so far, I have not bought myself an egg. I do not like eggs. And luckily I found out for like baking and stuff, you can actually put substitutes for eggs, like fizzy drinks. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, wow. That gives me even more reason to never buy an egg. That's a good mindset to have. I, exactly, I like to have that mindset because, well, exactly, I think it's a good one. Um, because actually you can um, be respectful of other points of view while still not liking something. But there's no reason to tell other people not to uh, not to like it. What are your thoughts on all of the flavored cola types? Um, what you mean, like different different flavors of Coca Cola, basically? Um, I mean, it's got to be it's got to be cherry all the way. Um, I avoid the full sugar one, um, firstly because my dentist told me not to have them, and now because of the sugar tax. Uh, but Coke Zero Cherry, that's a good one. That's a that's a lovely one, to be fair. Reggae, I like your Battle Cats Rangers music. Are you going to get make more? Oh, my apologies. I didn't make that music. Uh, there was just no video on YouTube with the Rangers BGM in it. So I recorded the Rangers BGM and just put it up there for anyone who wanted to listen to it. I certainly didn't make the music. And I certainly don't have the capability of making music. It'd be great, really, if I could make music as good as that. That was a good part of Alcat's Rangers, wasn't it? The old, uh, the old music. Was very nice indeed. Right. Okay. Um, before we lose the people who are here, then, uh, let's start having a look at the Enigma stage. So it's complete, and it's called Atom Fields. Can you tell us about this here stage? Insane difficulty. Okay, that's it, right. I still think that colour is, is just a bit weird. It's like summer grass. It honestly is like when grass goes all burnt and unhydrated. It's interesting though, it's different. So there's that. Right, okay. Let's not spoil it, can we please, chat? I would like to find this out as I play it so that I could maintain some form of excitement. I know you know all know what it is, so it won't be exciting for you going back into it, but me going into it, maybe let's let's keep the element of surprise, shall we? That would be nice, that'd be nice. In other news, my gum still really hurts. I've been doing all sorts to try and get the sod to be less painful, but nothing I can apparently do. Absolutely agonising. Oh, it's really quite horrible. 
Into the battle we go. Oh yeah, crikey. That's a that's a blast from the past phrase, that one, isn't it? Good old stuff. Who's been sending me messages? Oh, I see. Fair enough. Uh, hang on. Just going to do some brief typing with Regit. So thanks, someone. If I could spell. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Typing with Regit. It's over now. So, Ah! I see you. Stop. I saw something burrowing. Yep, it's you. I, I was referring to you, scary young boy. Let's just get rid of that. Absolutely. Entirely. Thank you very much. Ooh. I've had an idea of another um, under-listened to music artist to give a go to. Someone earlier was um, talking about Wob Wobs. Uh, and... We could go for an artist that does have some some wob wobs. Uh, I found them when um, uh, I was just sort of on Cuphead songs, and they did these these nice Cuphead remixes that were very wob wob, and quite enjoyable. So we might give them a go. Um, oh, I'll put Paladin out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But like, can I just give an example? Right, some people in the chat saying zombie in red. As soon as you've said that, now that there are zombies and reds in the level, I can't possibly be intrigued or amazed by that. But if you hadn't have said that, I would have been. It probably would have been a more exciting reaction for you to witness. So if we could go forward in that spirit of not telling me about these things to make it more interesting, I would appreciate that. Because I, I do look to the chat to see if people have been asking questions I can answer but then inevitably I see the same of, of that stuff alright let's get something chunky out oh the boar's dead, oh, alright I thought we were going to get gazumped there, um, that's the wrong kind of phrasing, gazumped is when you uh, offer to pay more than someone else will for a house and sort of steal it from them, anyway um, we were going to get gazumped by someone, probably but they were less chunky than I thought they were and so we're actually going to be alright, so that's pretty good. Excellent stuff. Okay. Woot woot, as it were. Right. So I reckon we're going to be fine on the old level. Uh, and that's all there is to really say about that. Okay. Old Gravy is in the ground. But is back, of course. That's what he does. He's like, um, who says, well I'm back, no 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 no. Probably like Eminem or something. Eminem, you see there? Yeah. See the resemblance? I don't. Anyway. Um, he is back. No, 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 no. Oh, Cyberpunk, no. Oh, that's just, that's a bit sad. Zombies, you just can't do anything about them, really. They will screw up your battle, whatever you really do. Quite sad. Quite sad. What after this? Well, I did consider giving something a go. But I sort of am also, at the same time, advising myself against it. Eminem is good. Oh yeah, well yeah. Um, I like Eminem in mashups. I I don't much care for his songs on their own, but the speed and pace of the lyrics works very well when you mash it up with other songs. I find. I say you. People who do. Anyway, maybe that is you. Maybe you do that. Right, okay, um, that's them collabs done, but we know that, and that's the Enigma stage done, and we also know that. Yes, uh, you're absolutely right on the thing I was sort of advising myself against doing, because it's just, well, it's fundamentally a bad idea, right? It's just not a, not a good thing to be doing. Um because it's just it's just not going to end very well because I'm not going to try and do it myself goodness no but then if I ask the chat on what to do I will probably just be given contradictory advice on it and that won't end well either so here is what I propose uh is Jace still in the chat because I believe uh I saw Jace earlier in the chat. 
if we get a strat from one person, they, apart from my mismanagement of it, are completely accountable for that strategy. And so that's a much easier way to do it. The, uh, the chat can be alongside what happens. But if Jace is still here, could you give me a strat via Discord? Uh, and I will give this a go with that. Jace is back. Did you hear that, Jace? Uh, I, if you just come back, I guess you wouldn't have. Um, if you haven't, could you please, if you want to, obviously, produce a strat for Wrath of the Doge Lord Merciless for me, please, so that we don't have chat arguing amongst itself and me being confused, as is what happens. If you know there is a problem and you can't really do much about it, just make sure you're doing everything you can to avoid the uh, the problem happening. Give me a few moments. Great idea, Jace, because I've had another idea. While we give Jace a few moments, I hope you wouldn't mind giving me a few moments, because what I'm going to do is hashtag stay hydrated, and I'm going to do that by pausing the music, turning my microphone off, and I'm Will McAvoy, and I'll be back after this. All right, all right. He's back. Would you believe it? Huh. Oh. Well, that's a bit rubbish. I never even pressed the button. Uh, let's do it now. <laughs> oh. No, Twitch just says no. <laughs> well, that's fun, isn't it? Okay. Well, uh, no little break for us then, it was just complete silence. Well, that's professional, thank you Twitch. Not sure that could be my fault, but probably is. Always is, really. Right, oh, oh! Ah, this has got a very, very weird profile picture. Jace begins uh, by saying, I've only cleared once and it wasn't easy. Brilliant, so that's the rest of the stream taking up a failure, good to know. You know what I'm going to do in the meantime? I'm going to do something useful with my life, like facing danger. Oh, that's a fair few players. How much does Streamlabs take when you donate? So, as far as I'm aware, Streamlabs doesn't take anything. However, PayPal, which is how I get the money after, well, through a Streamlabs donation, takes a flat fee of 33 cents plus 2.9% of the donation. So if you were to donate, say, $1, I would only get uh, 60, 64, 66 cents roughly um, from that. And from a dollar, that much to be taken off, it's not great. And actually, someone who donated $1 by Streamlabs I'm considering sending their money back to them because it's not really gone to me and I don't really want to be giving PayPal that much. Um, so uh, a better way to, if you wanted to donate, of course, this is assuming you did, um, would be to do it through buying bits on Twitch or, or if you were planning a much larger donation, then the fee wouldn't matter as much. But for smaller amounts bits would be your uh, your best bet. Those give uh, the best rate. Subs, uh, I get 50% of what you pay. Bits, around 80% of what you pay. How do bits work? 
So uh, on Twitch, you'll probably see like um, purchase bits or something like that. And it's just, you buy them. Uh, so say you buy 100 bits, that will cost you about $1.20, $1.25, I think. Uh, and then you can cheer those 100 bits. If you then cheered those 100 bits to me, I would receive $1 from that. So around 80% of what you paid. The rest would go to Twitch. And so you're just paying for um, uh, little, little sort of animated token things that are essentially a form of donation. But at the moment, they give the best rates. So that will be the uh, that will be the best way to do it. Okay. Oh, we got a wob wob here. Should we? Uh, our DJ's not here to uh, wob wob. I don't think that wob just missed DJ and mortally offended him by ignoring him. We've got to get a wob wob emote, haven't we? Every time I turn up the volume of the music slightly, I feel like a DJ. And it's such, such a great feeling, but I'm definitely not a DJ. I'm doing, I'm doing the pretend turntable, so. And I'm gonna clutch my left earphone just so it looks like I'm DJ. Great stuff. Good wobs. You got the strategy yet? No. No. <laughs> Why do you think I was uh, stalling? Oh, we might do now actually. Oh, they're words. That's not pictures, Jace. Make it easier for me. No, I can try and work off that. I get the DJ of warm. Oh, we got some. Oh, dead mouse emojis. Love that. Love that. I appreciate that. I, 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 I'm being all sort of civilized and calling him dead mouse, but anywhere else I call him dead mouse five, and that's that's what I understand them as being. Why put a number at the end of your name if you don't want people to pronounce the number? Right, true wob wob again. As well as having wob wobs in the air, you've you've ruined it. You've ruined it. I show you. Why are you actually bad? Give me back my wobs. Right. We've had some stream breaking noises not in anyone's ears. From that, just to be clear, they didn't break it though. From I am TKO three cheering ten bits saying hi Reggie. I just got moved out the chat, rude Twitch. I just got cat machine from Uberfest. What? Stop flicking down. YouTube never does that. What do you think of that Uber? Cat machine's good. Um, Jace is recommending it to me as we speak, actually. A cat machine has many uses, especially in uh, being a wave shield. Anyway, those were your, um, those are your daily bobs. Uh, and DJ actually approves of them. Well, crikey, we've uh, we've moved up in the world. Um, DJ, we were we were talking about wobs, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be very nice uh, if by the time we get to the next subscriber, if possible, uh, the subscriber emote slot, sorry, which is at twenty five subscribers. What do you think to the idea of a wob wob emote? Like, Reggit pretending to be a DJ with, like, I don't know, like a massive loudspeaker behind him. And it's just, like, wob wob or something like that. A wob wob emote. Yeah, exactly. You're going to get the wob wobs. Uh, that would be that would be great fun. Uh, and it seems you like the idea, so that's great. This is an Acosmo song. Uh, we've been listening to Acosmo the whole time, by the way, which I like very much. This one is called Bubbles Drifting in the Morning Breeze. And I like it very much. It's a nice one. Nice and calm, but with a sort of meaningful beat to it. I'm talking like I couldn't talk about music. I can't really. I can say wob wob.
It sounds so chill, it does. I highly recommend this song. It's one of my favourites. So, um, all in all then, I guess, let's uh, try and lift off Jace's strat and do it, as uh, Emperor Palpatine would say. Uh, let's go to Ubers first and get what we know needs to be in there. In there. Uh, Cat Machine will be tanky enough for Alien slash Reds. Manic Legs. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Metal Cat and Double Eraser. That's in Super Rare as well, isn't it? <laughs> Vibing with Reg at 4am. It's the best feeling. It's the best feeling. We love the vibes. Um, also, thank you for appearing at like 4am. I mean, crikey. Uh, Maglev probably can't do much, right? What do you think? Uh, Jace hasn't like recommended the whole strategy. Which leaves it open to a certain degree of anarchy, which is just not liberating. It's just scary, basically, because we're, we're just going to run into problems, I think. And I just don't want to appear in those problems. We were, um... Brings a bit more chill and vibes when Meta gets quiet. Yeah, no, it's been very quiet. Don't know why. Oh, it's because the song's ending. Um, and also this one's possibly a bit quieter than the others, and maybe I... Did I mix it back down below where it usually is? Maybe. I don't know. It should be louder now. In any case... Oh! Use the spoiler! Yes! Actually, that is a good piece of advice because this is a level I've long struggled on, so I think it warrants the spoiler. Uh, spoilers, though, everyone. Oh! Have we got another Wob Wob? I, I'm really excited for a Wob Wob in right now. Can we break out the wob wobs? I mean, it's quarantine. Why do we need a good sleeping schedule? I mean, I I need to be quiet at ten o'clock, so I'm, I'm just sort of forced into it, essentially. Right. What can we replace? I just feel like Abraham isn't going to be able to ever run in, really. Right? Unless I'm thinking this wrong. Everyone do the pretend turntables. I'm so glad there isn't a face cam. Or like ever. We got some good wobs there, didn't we? There were some fun wobs. Yeah, good fun. Right. Uh, do you think you'll ever get a face cam? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, neither of my monitors have that sort of thing. And if I ever do get to the point of having to do a face reveal, I'll put a camera somewhere or like kneel in front of my iPad as it's put upright with its case and fill my face that way. Um, I wouldn't invest in something I wouldn't really want to use. TBH wouldn't mind streaming off this. I'd love to listen to this wob so I'll play some games. Oh, well, the wobs that you like, DJ, uh, this one in particular is Starlight by A Cosmo. A-K-O-S-M-O. -O. Uh, quite an under-listened to artist, so I'm sure they'll appreciate your lessons as well. Let's give this level a go then, we might as well, for we only have 10 minutes, so we'll just do a couple of attempts or whatever we're warranted on it. We are warranted exactly two attempts, because right, I don't think we'll get to the third with the ad for energy. So I am going to sacrifice a rich cat, a sniper cat, and we're going to give it a go in the name of, yes, wobbing with the boys. That's exactly what we're doing here. Boys being spelt with an I a completely neutral term that encompasses everyone. Everyone is the boys, and I hope you don't mind. And if you do mind, you're not the boys. 
you are you, as we all are, I and me, individuals. Anyway, we are also the boys, if you want to be. Okay, let's give it a go. Bring CPU, yeah, good idea. Is it a good idea? Yeah, okay. Right, let's do it then. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, got some wobs. Unintentional wobs. Unplanned wobs. And the girls. What? You, that's the thing. Boys, spelt with an I, is everyone, right? That's just the people, the human beings. The, maybe not even human beings. I don't know if we got any uh, got any animals watching. Woof woof. Meow meow. Whatever. Um. You are part of the boys. I didn't want to use the term gender neutral because gender is a social construct and not related to sex and I didn't want to get into that rabbit hole today. But yes, if you like, it's a completely gender neutral term. Certainly sex neutral. Let's crank up the CPU and bring in some tings. Don't know why I said tings. Like I'm like man on that ting. I'm, I'm not Big Shack. Right, okay. Come on now. I don't want to be decimated yet. That would just be rude, basically. Come on now. No, oh, it's just... It's a bit sad, really. Come on. Sort yourself out. Sort yourself out. Go on. Oh, that's better. That's better. We like that. Oh, that's worse. We don't like that. I think just getting decimated is something that happens. Is Matama already dead? Well, so much for her being the saving grace to everything. I mean, flipping heck. She can't help here, can she? Me and the boys cutting through gender constructs. Oh, well, absolutely. That's what that's what you and the boys have got to do. Be part of the revolution. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, no. We're getting punished for our, our, our attitudes here. Uh, you know, these are like, there are only two gender snatches. <laughs> We're, uh, we're, we're just not doing too well here. And these reactionary, stuck-in-the-past snatches are causing trouble for us. And look, just because they, they don't like what we have to say. Oh, now there's Brollos. The uh, old man Brollos. They hate us even more. They hate what we have to say. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about, honestly. Um, oh, dear. Other than losing... You know what? <laughs> Boomer snatches. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I mean, oh, some wobs. Hang on, just a second before I continue on the point. That's a proper wob, that. Them some wobs. So what I was going to say is that, um, just to be clear, um, I'm don't actually particularly like the phrase boomer, although it is somewhat funny. But calling people boomers don't like that at all. You know, you can you can take a sort of reactionary view to something and you know if it's a harmful reactionary view people should be able to challenge you but just characterizing you as a boomer is you know well, it's just troublesome we talked about this in a stream i believe called okay bomber for bomber cat um uh, but um for the record also i think there are two sexes well there are um and infinite numbers of gender because well that's the idea of a social construct that allows you to describe yourself in any way you like. It could also be a helicopter if that isn't specifically to design to annoy people by you saying it. If you genuinely feel that way, fair enough. But if you're saying it to annoy people, don't say that, that's rude. But I just wish people would distinguish between sex and gender more. I think we'd be fighting less. Bunch of boomers. Right, um, do I bother giving this a go again because I'm I'm feeling like uh, I'm feeling like a no 
a strong a strong no because it's just not it's not good fun really but we might as well in in the dying minutes uh, try something slightly different so people are saying seafarer is in there uh, Gizo. Cyborg. Hmm. Cyborg? Haven't heard that recommended yet. Gonna wait for a second opinion on that one. Housewife and Dark. Ah, oh, Pizza Cat was another one that was recommended. Okay, so... Let's put pizza in. Okay, so then what if we... Just dispensed... With most of the Uberage, I mean, like, Matana really didn't work very well, let's be fair. So, put Darked in there. What about that? What are people thinking of that? Cyberpunk? I mean, Cyberpunk, I assume, is for the Wawa, right? But we can't deal with the peons in front of it. Is that is that something that... Well, I mean, we could swap out Manic Island, couldn't we? So I feel like Cyberpunk would just be something that... That died, right? Metal Cat could place. I mean, it's a fair point. By the time you get to all those peons, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, cats in the cradle could be done. Could be done. Okay. Looks promising, but do not lure. Okay, we'll whack the CPU on as soon as we can then. Oh, cat seems problematic range-wise, right? Would I be would I be fair in thinking that? Iron wall cannon. Yeah, can be done, can be done. You should start soon, yeah, no, exactly. I'm gonna have to quite soon. So, any final recommendations, then we're just going to go straight into it. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing that I can do but stop. Cyborg would drain fun funds, yeah, I would have thought of that. Uh, okay. We're giving it a go, then. Gotta go fast, let's do it. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Let's go. So, before I had to be quiet, because we'll let the level play out as well, when I am quiet. Um, come on, get started. On the gender thing, for example, when I'm filling in surveys and that, if it asks my sex, I will say male. If it asks my gender, I will say other. A gender, because, I mean, for me, like, the concept of gender is, is murky and not useful to me. I'm happy with my sex being male and not having a gender identity because I really dislike the idea of cisgender people because that's just that's just used to criticise people who are unwoke and all of that rubbish. So, I mean, I have a different gender identity as in not having one at all. And I think that's the purpose of gender, right? To be able to describe yourself in a way that you want. And that's the importance of it. Don't use it to call yourself a helicopter if all you're trying to do is annoy someone that's just a bit of a scummy thing to do but if you feel genuinely like a helicopter nothing's stopping you from identifying that way and on those sentiments uh, and thoughts i will be leaving you so that will be it uh, because if you do genuinely feel like a helicopter, and I mean genuinely, genuinely, not trying to take the mick, because there's an important distinction, you shouldn't seek to make people feel bad. But if you genuinely feel like that, who's someone else to tell you that you can't? And that's the liberating purpose of gender constructs, to be able to describe yourself in any way you like. And that's why sex should be wholly separated from it. 
Anyway, I think that about summarises it. We've talked about this before as well. And uh, I hope you found interest in those remarks, but I have to be quiet now. We'll let the level play out for not very long, but I have to be quiet now. So, ta with my voice, and soon, ta with the stream.